So let's talk about this W word, wallet. A tool that has existed since the 17th century. The wallet we are focusing on today, however, is not quite as used to store paper currency or even dried meat. Yes, that was actually one of the ways wallets were used. Instead, we are going to focus on crypto wallets, more specifically, the role they will play in the next age of the internet that is Web3. Now, before we go any deeper, like this video, click on that subscribe button, and make sure to turn on your notifications if you like to stay updated to all things crypto. All right, let's begin. Now, our main focus in this video will be what wallets can be in the future. But let's take a quick look at the current state of wallets. Wallets have evolved ever since the release of Bitcoin QT, the first Bitcoin wallet created by the mysterious Satoshi Nakamoto. Since this was the only wallet available, users had no choice but to download the whole blockchain for the wallet to operate. This means downloading a couple of gigabytes of data. Currently, to use this wallet, now known as Bitcoin Core, users have to first download over 300 gigabytes of data. This is more than just a minor inconvenience, especially when its competitors, such as web or mobile wallets, require a matter of minutes to set up. Additionally, current wallets have more features and they continue to add even more to support interactions with NFTs and decentralized finance protocols, which are becoming more popular. Another cool feature is hardware and web wallets' ability to interact with each other seamlessly. On top of that, more wallets are starting to add a swap feature. Say you have Ethereum and you want to swap it for USDC, the wallet has a built-in interface to facilitate the swap. What we've just covered summarizes the current state of crypto wallets, but what about its future? What does it look like? Well, let's hop into our imaginary time machine and take a peek at what crypto wallets can be in the future. So, to kick us off, let's check out how crypto wallets may function as everyday digital wallets. Think of the number of times you forgot your wallet in the house and your soul almost left your body at the cash register. Well, nowadays you don't have to carry around large amounts of cash or even credit or debit cards in order to make a transaction. This is thanks to fiat digital wallets and mobile devices that have gained traction over the past decade. These wallets allow users to store fiat currency in them and are widely accepted by merchants. Crypto wallets can take advantage of this already existing momentum of digital fiat wallets and offer users an alternative way to transact, especially with the acceptance of cryptocurrencies by merchants on the rise. And this is where mobile cryptocurrency wallets may come into play whereby users can store small amounts of their crypto holdings on their mobile phones. So you walk into your favorite ice cream store, you order your ice cream, and you pay in Bitcoin. It's pretty sweet, right? Sweet. No pun intended. Okay, the next future possibility is wallets as investment and saving hubs. These days, there are various saving and investment apps out there, each offering different products at your fingertips. In the world of crypto, there are exchange apps available. However, they don't allow you to hold your own private keys. This means that in the event the exchange was hacked, you would lose your holding. On the other hand, crypto wallets allow you to be in control of your own funds and security. Now, building on this feature, wallets may offer users the ability to interact with multiple investment offerings through the wallet itself. That's a pretty handy feature, right? Okay, so let's now take a look at how wallets can be used as digital identities in the future. You know how having a Google account allows you to access a variety of services and applications? For instance, um, with this one profile, you can access Gmail to send your work emails, while at the same time, you can use that profile to access YouTube and watch those cute cat videos. Basically, this saves users the hassle of creating multiple accounts. Crypto wallets could have similar functionality in Web3. We're already seeing this happen in decentralized protocols like Aave. 
All you need to do is fire up the protocol, connect your wallet, and voila! There's no need to submit personal information or create a new password. Now, still on digital identities, the wallet could also act as an access tool. For example, holding a certain NFT may grant you access to a private telegram group or to a holder's event, or maybe in the entertainment industry, where you could use NFTs as your concert pass to watch your favorite artists perform. Now, these passes may be held and displayed in your wallet. With a digital identity attached to these wallets, there's a potential for them to evolve and become social networks such as Facebook and Twitter. Users can therefore interact with each other and share content on their profiles. I mean, imagine making an investment in Aave and right after that, you share a crypto meme with your friends all on the same digital platform. In 2021, Twitter integrated tipping with crypto into its platform but such a product on a crypto wallet is yet to be seen. Up next, we have the possibility of multi-chain support in the future, especially with new chains popping up now and then. The majority of wallets out there at the moment don't support all chains. Some support certain ecosystems, while others support Ethereum and Ethereum virtual machine chains. In the future, it is likely that there will be multiple options that can act as a one-stop hub for all the different blockchains out there. The popular Phantom Wallet for Solana already aims to do this and is developing its wallet to expand to chains outside of Solana. Multi-chain support will then open doors for wallets to be a bridge to this multi-chain world. Now, while bridging applications already exist out there, being able to do so from the comfort of your wallet will make the experience that much easier and seamless. One wallet working on this is XDFi, which is working to integrate the Thor chain protocol into their wallet. Ideally, this wallet will allow users to swap any assets from one ecosystem to another without the hassle of manually bridging from chain to chain. Now, next, we will look at one of the most important sectors in the future of wallets, and that is user-friendly features. User friendliness could range from guaranteeing the security of your crypto to having helpful functionalities that just make your life easier. Now, the former may involve setting up wallets in a way to protect users. The wallets could save users from huge losses by putting out warnings for specific protocols which have been known to be sketchy. Now, the functionality part, on the other hand, may involve wallets being more informative. Just imagine how helpful it will be, especially for new users, if information such as gas prices were shown, and they could go even further and display information of times of the day when gas prices tend to be cheaper historically, or warn users if gas prices are higher than usual. Now, on top of that, there is potential for wallets to be the equivalent to the App Store. They can help users discover new dApps as they go through their crypto journey, either through thoughtful curation or just through surfacing new dApps to try. It's a cool feature that would accelerate the growth of dApps and wallets. Now, lastly, we have multi-sig support. Multi-sig is just a fancy way to shorten multi-signature, and currently crypto wallets are only able to support one profile per seed, which is a long string of automatically generated random numbers. Now, if users want to create another profile, they'd have to create a new browser profile, followed by setting up a new wallet. This is an issue when it comes to creating an account for a company or organization, but when you don't want to mix it with your personal wallet. Multi-sig is usually added for such wallets, but users must use a different service to do so. Integrating a multi-sig service into wallets would make it that much easier for users to create such accounts. So, in conclusion, it is clear that crypto wallets are vital in driving the industry forward as they are typically one of the first things a new user interacts with when getting into the world of crypto. And these crypto wallets will likely be the foundation of mass adoption and relevant features need to be continuously built out to support the many varied crypto users out there. So, are you excited about potentially getting into a Beyonce concert with an NFT pass? 
or being able to invest from the comfort of your wallet? Well, let us know in the comments about a feature you can't wait to see. And remember to like, subscribe, and follow us on all our socials for future videos. Bye.